So this morning, the top story comes in from Singapore, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi presently is. He arrived in Singapore, and there was a lot of friendship seen between Prime Minister Modi and the counterpart, Prime Minister Lawrence Wong. But why this visit is going to be very important? Singapore and India, remember, are allies, and therefore, with regard to let's say the semiconductor ecosystem. The digital technology helps scale. Look at these visuals on your screen. This is external affairs minister S. Jay Shankar and his counterpart. There are memorandums of understanding being signed. Crucial MOUs, remember, with Singapore. So that's the photo opportunity that's being done. And now the big image coming in on your screen. Of course, this is in the backdrop of the Indian diaspora cultural performances uh, for Prime Minister Modi, where the Indian diaspora had come out as well. I want to immediately go across to our foreign affairs editor Geeta Mohan for the latest on that. Uh, Geeta, do tell us about. Of course, there's always a dhol and uh, the the dhol nagadas that we see in these events. What is the significance of this meeting? What kind of MOUs are we talking about? Well, four critical uh, and crucial MOUs have been signed between the two countries uh, in the digital space, semiconductor ecosystem. health and uh, education so these are the four areas that have been covered pooja we have been talking about the critical uh, role that singapore can play in the semiconductor industry uh, which is why prime minister narendra modi will also be visiting a facility just after uh, the bilateral talks are, uh, uh, are over and the and the and the lunch um, uh, the the areas that we look that india is looking at is uh one uh, cyber security and digital technology cooperation uh, there will be uh, the, the, the two sides are looking to facilitate closer cooperation on that front uh, such as uh, 5g emerging technologies and supercomputing uh, 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 those are the areas where an mou has been signed on uh, cooperation in the field of digital technologies the second one is a very important one is semiconductor ecosystem partnership Uh, where india and singapore will cooperate in the areas of semiconductor clusters uh, that are to be developed and uh, the cultivation of talent in the very same sector uh, the third one is of course in the health sector cooperation in the field of health and medicine and uh, also cooperation in the field of education and skills development mm. two areas where they're going to focus on vocational mm. training human resources healthcare human resources and the pharmaceutical sector All right, Geeta. Thank you very much. We'll keep updating on uh, the details coming in from Singapore. But remember, while of course there are mainly the political diplomatic updates, there's the diaspora. But what have we seen in the past few visits? You must have noticed that apart from the Indian diaspora and the folk dances that we have seen, residents and citizens of that country, whether it's Russia, Ukraine, or this time Singapore, they are performing the Indian dance form too, and that is reflective of the cultural bridge, or as we say, a living bridge that people-to-people -people connect has been. with indian and with people of other nations as well